500 milliliters goes in, but not all 500 makes it to the alveolar unit. Some of it is going to be left behind in our airways, as well as our upper airway. So you say, okay, how much? Well, I'm glad you asked because it is approximately one ml per pound of ideal body weight. So you know the ideal body weight formula. If you don't, you're gonna wanna know it before you uh, probably take a next exam, specifically before you get into mechanical ventilation uh, and for sure before you tackle those conditioning exams. But if you have a patient whose ideal body weight is 150 pounds, then that means they have 150 milliliters of anatomical dead space. That's how much volume is going to get lost in the airways. And it's not going to participate in gas exchange. So if we know this much is lost, then all we have to do is subtract 150 from the total volume that was brought in. That's the tidal volume. Okay. And so 500 minus 150 equals 350 milliliters. So how much came in? 500. How much actually made its way to the alveolar units? 350. That's alveolar tidal volume. Now, now I'll put it down here, but we understand that that 350 milliliters is going to be dispersed equally throughout all lung regions.